Hello and welcome or welcome back to Megan TT Hobbies. It is the evening of August 16th, 2020 and I am going to try to breeze through some successes, especially for the Battle of the Decades that I'm taking part in uh, via, via Caleb and I'm on team 50s and 60s. So that's going to be this first video that I'm doing. And then if I still have energy, I might do another video. I will have to apologize in advance now. My dog is rustling around in her crate because uh, I gave her some peanut butter. So hopefully she calms down here soon or I at least talk over it. So Battle of the Decades, if you don't know what that is, put on by Caleb. And there are two teams, base, and it's for baseball. There's Team 90s, and then there's Team 50s and 60s. Uh, team 50s and 60s is captained by Caleb, and then Chase over at Chase and Inc. is captaining uh, Team 90s. Team 90s has been kicking some butt, as you would expect, but uh, 50s and 60s is definitely, we are definitely coming back. So I'm going to start with... Successes that count because these are ladies that played in the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League in the uh, 50s and 60s. And so what I did was I created this. I found this really cool logo and then I created this card. And I'm going to try to pull up these ladies as I'm talking and hopefully not make this video super long, but I feel like these ladies do not get enough, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Enough publicity. So I am going to try to tell you a little bit about them. So Marion Hosbeen um, played for the South Bend Blue Sox in 1954. So there's not a lot known about her. And then I'm not going to share like a bunch of the extras, but a lot of the folks, a lot of the ladies, you know, sent words, words of wisdom. If you want to pause and read that, you can. So that is the first one. So if I had a bell, I would give myself a point. And like I said, I'm gonna try to breeze through these. So Eileen Gas Gascon is her name. And I'm trying to do a search to tell you just a little bit about them, but that takes a little bit. And I have not, I've only like cut these open, so I haven't looked at them. Uh, so she played 1949 with the Springfield Sallies. 51 Battle Creek Bells, and then over to the Grand Rapids Chicks, and also Peoria Red Wings, according to her player profile. Um, she said that they can only sign cards, but she d didn't. She then sent me. Um, they had these giveaway things that they did for the 75th anniversary, and then she signed it. And it looks like there might be a couple of them here. So that is cool for her. I've contemplated buying this set, but so few of, of the ladies have passed away. Um, and it's, it's quite pricey. Uh, next one, sorry that I should have mentioned that came in from Carol Stream, Illinois. And these all just took a couple weeks. Next one coming in from Providence, Rhode Island. And we are going to look at Wilma Briggs. And I sent her this one without a name on it. And then this one. And so this is pretty cool. I don't even have to look it up. So she played for Fort Wayne in 48 to 53. And then in 54 for South Bend. She signed them both. And, wow, she sent all sorts of goodies. She, these are four by sixes of her card. And she signed them, um, best wishes. 
So that's really cool. And then, wow, I will have to, uh, look at this letter. So I'm gonna definitely have to write her back because she says that the pictures are all for our boys. And uh, it talks about how she's like had to stay at home and stuff. So look at these amazing responses that you can get from these ladies. Okay, next one. I might have to do three separate videos these will get too long. Coming in from Minneapolis, Minnesota, we have Jean Havlish, and she signed that, and then she sent a card, and she played 51 for Kalamazoo, 52, 53, and 54 for Fort Wayne. So that's a really cool card that's fairly new. But seriously, if you like baseball, if you like history, um, go out there and, and look at the AAGPBL. They didn't get to do their reunion this year, but uh, this next one is coming in from Knoxville, Tennessee. And I am trying, this thing is stuffed of things. So this is awesome. Mary Waddell, and she put Fort Wayne Daisies, 1954. And then there is the AAG PBL that uh, is in the Hall of Fame. And she put 88 on that. Let me see what else is in here. So here's a cool picture and she signed the back, and she was honored at the Cincinnati Reds game 2008. And then, let's see what else is going on here. Wow. I apologize for my dog making a lot of noise. So, look at that. Another amazing letter. And look at all these cards that she sent. So I'll probably end up giving some of these away or passing them along to friends. And I might uh, share some of these or try to share some of the uh, snippets, but for the sake of time, I'm going to move right along. Again, I apologize for my dog going crazy. Hopefully she'll calm down. Uh, we're at about halfway there. So right now that is one, two, three, four, Five. coming in from Eugene, Oregon. And for some of these ladies, I did send two. Uh, Louise Youngin played from 51 to 54. And if you let me search real quick, I can tell you which teams that was on. Um, and I'm curious to see, apparently... It's Netflix or somebody has decided to do a league of their own as a TV show. As you well know, there's a movie out there, um, but they're going to do it as a TV show. So in 51, she played for Fort Wayne and the Kenosha Comets. 52 for Fort Wayne. 53 was South Bend. 54 was Fort Wayne and South Bend. According to her history that is on the... If you go to aagpbl.org, uh, you'll find a lot of information out there. 
And again, um, the ladies were not able to have a reunion with everything going on. Um, so hopefully there's one next year. Uh, this next one is Doris Cook. She did not sign that, but she did send a signed card here. And so this is easy to see. 49 and then 50 to 53 with Springfield, Kalamazoo, South Bend. So there's been a few of these cards made over the years. A lot of these ladies have like signed a bunch of cards and still have some or don't want to sign what you send them um, or just can't at, at this point as they're, you know, 80s, etc. Um, this one put in a index card. This is coming in from Fort Myers, Florida. And then she even penny sleeved it. Barbara Thompson. I know I would have sent her one of those little card things. Maybe she thought it was cool and kept it. So that is the back of her. And let me look her up real quick. To see her information. Bear with me for a second. 51 and 52 with the Rockford Peaches. And she was actually from Rockford. Next one coming in from Carol Stream, Illinois. Wow. Coming in from Ange Armato. And again, somebody that I had sent a couple to. So she did Rockford Peaches in 49 and then the Kalamazoo Lassies in 53. And then she signed them. Those are really, really, really cool. Because the reason I have two for some of these ladies is I had printed them real small and I didn't want to waste them, but I like the bigger print. So that's why I did it. And let me see here. So this is a write-up that she has with her picture. So you can kind of pause on that. Another amazing woman in the AAGPBL. This one is coming in from maybe Michigan. I can't honestly read the cancellation. From Fran Francis Yukovic. And let me look her up real quick. And then these turned out really awesome. Signed those three. And you might be asking yourself, where did I find these addresses? These are all on Star Tiger. Um, what I did was I just searched on the AAGPBL and then anybody that was still living and then went from there to find the ladies who played at least into the 50s since that's what our team is covering. So she did 1950 with the Chicago Colleens and 1951 with the Battle Creek Bells. And she is almost 90, degrees, 90 years old. She turns 90 on October 30th. So thank you to her. And two more for this video. So Anne Garman. And I, I should note that I put um, what would have been their name at the time that they played. Obviously many of these ladies have since gone and gotten married. But for the sake of just this project, I put 
what would have been their plain name or their Menaden name, and you'll notice that Anne Carmen Husted and South Bend Blue Socks. This is 1951, which is kind of interesting because the website says 53. So she played in the 50s, regardless. And then she sent one of the signed cards. Again, and that's the set that I was talking about. But luckily they've given a lot of these ladies these cards. And coming in with actually no postmark. The last one for the AAGPBO. Awesome. Uh, Ruth Davis didn't sign this, but sent this along. It says, hi, Megan, stay safe, Ruth Davis. She was actually uh, a bat girl and then a catcher. So that's pretty cool. So if I count all of these because I got successes from all of them in some, some way, shape, or form. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that is twelve just for the AAGPBL ladies. So I'm gonna make another video with the uh, men's baseball players from the MLB that played also in the 50s and 60s. And that is another nice stack coming at you very soon. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.